you haven't been following sprayer drones, then you don't know this. A lot of times we know about new technology long before it gets here just because of the regulations to get this equipment operating here in the U.S. And we all know about the challenges. This is DJI's brand new T100. Obviously, you can see it's got some narrative there in, in Chinese. Well, that's because it is brand new. But I found some information and I had to share it today. Because if you've been following sprayer drones, you know there's been this massive race to bigger, better. And this thing is impressive. So DJI's been the sprayer business for, I think, around 12 years. This drone has an operational weight, are you ready for this? Loaded at 330 pounds. I've never seen anything like this. So there's a lot going on here. Certainly they've upgraded the safety features. You can see that with a lot of new onboard technology. I think that's pretty obviously, we all need that. Certainly that kind of moves off into different terrain, different connectivity. I think you'll see some of that here in a second. They certainly have some new systems on board as far as from camera side, which looks pretty impressive as well. One thing I did notice right away, you can see them going in and out with different booms on the sprayer. They have two nozzles. They have four nozzles. Obviously, with a 20-gallon payload, it's going to allow you to do a lot of things. It's certainly in terms of volume of material you want to put on. Um, you will also see a dry configuration as well. I think it's already passed through a couple times. Um, that's pretty neat. I did also notice there was an optional, it looks like, four nozzle system. And notice they've relocated the nozzles as well. Um, there it is right there showing the four nozzles, which is cool. If you haven't seen these nozzles, they work great. You just have to keep them clean. But it, it gives you that adjustability of particle size, which is a big deal. Uh, in the aerial application side of things. Certainly volume with four nozzles, you can see here in a tree application, and look at that. Look at how it switches over to a granular application, and certainly there, it's going to haul a lot more weight as well. Um, you could put, obviously, at least two 50-pound bags of material in it, certainly with that kind of weight, which is crazy. Um, it's got an auger build in it, which some of the other ones do as well. I've seen that um, on other systems, but this is pretty cool. Now, some things maybe you're not thinking about is terms of efficiencies. Um, they mention a new charging system that they can achieve full power in nine minutes, and you'll see some attachments like this. You could even use this same drone to carry up to 187 pounds. Now here in this application they're demoing, you'll see the operator's got a handheld device and that's a location of where the machine is, except the load. It looks like you can lower the cable, that kind of thing. It's, it's doing that there in real time. That's pretty cool. It's nice that they're being a little more efficient. You don't need a different drone to do these different tasks. The biggest challenge I've always felt with drones in general has been efficiency of batteries. They're so much better now, even from the first drones we've had. And these new sprayer drones, even the current models, are so much better than the first ones. They're making sprayers something we can actually do. But check this out. You're going to see some options where you can take your charger and plug it into different things, like maybe your electric car. Um, certainly, they've got some new attachments here, which could be very interesting. So stay tuned on this new drone. Unfortunately, it'll be like any new technology. It'll take a while for it gets to the fields here, but this looks incredibly impressive. Thanks, guys, for watching. We'll keep you posted.